Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the farm. We are not getting new chicks today. They're coming tomorrow, but today I decided let's get the chicks out of the brooder and into our chicken tractor. We've got the feed ready. We've got the water ready. Most importantly, no manure where they are coming out. I've got the rest of the chores done this morning. Um, I did not do the chicks in the brooder because I wanted to get them out. So let's head over, let's get our buckets to collect the chicks and let's get them onto fresh pasture. All right, this is the last batch of chicks that we have for now. Like I said, tomorrow we're gonna have some more. Um, these chickens are four weeks old. You can see it was time to clean or time to kick out and it is time to kick out. And normally we like to get them out earlier, but with all the storms that we had had, we just didn't want to take the chance of getting these chickens outside and anything going wrong with them. So today's the day we're going to get them out. <laughs> They're ready onto some fresh grass. This is our fourth batch of 100 Cornish Cross this year. We've got everybody out on pasture now. And as always, when you first get them out here, they aren't sure what the heck is going on, but you can see it does not take them long to figure it out. So we hadn't fed them yet this morning, so now this group is finding the feed. They will spread out between these two troughs, actually three troughs, and uh, do just fine here shortly. But this is so much better than having them in the brooder. The storms, we do not have storms planned for the rest of this week. And uh, with this protection from the rain and sun, they've got a good draft coming through here. They're gonna be just fine. They're four weeks old, so they're just about fully feathered out. You can see a lot of them have little yellow heads yet, but uh, this is much better than being in the brooder. So we've got our next batch coming tomorrow, 135 chickens. So we're gonna go get the brooder cleaned out from where these chicks just were. And then tomorrow we will have another shipment arriving at the post office that will bring out, obviously you need to start them in the brooder. They need that warmth when they're day old chicks. But this time of year, we should be able to get them out around two to three weeks old. So they'll be outside a lot faster. So that is a good time of year to have the chickens just so they're not in the brooder that long. So let's head over. We'll start getting their pens cleaned out and get ready for chicks tomorrow. All right, guys, it's just about lunchtime. We've got all the feeders cleaned out, the brooders cleaned out. We've got new shavings put in for the new birds coming, and we've also got the waters ready for them. So that way we get them home from the post office and we are ready to go. Just wanted to come out and check these new chicks out here on pasture, just see how they're adapting, which uh, normally is never an issue, but it's always fun to see how they start to react from being out here and out of the pine shavings and onto the grass, but they are all doing well, figuring out the waters where their waters are at. And obviously it's not hard to figure out the feed. So really have enjoyed raising Cornish cross chickens for our meat production. They are just amazing growing chickens and uh, they do well for us. So all of them are out of the brooders now until tomorrow. We will uh, come out this afternoon to show you guys their first move. When we come and check the feed and water, we are going to move them again. You can see they have already put down a nice layer of manure on this grass and we will move them. We move our birds twice a day when we bring them, when we come out in the morning and feed. And then when we check waters and check feed in the afternoon, we move them again. So. Couple hours here, we'll be moving these chickens um, for the first time, and we're gonna see how they do. Uh, they're doing well so far. You can see a bunch of full crops. If you see that chicken right there, crop sticking out, 
Definitely have eaten good this morning. And uh, it is just a beautiful day and a great day to have them out on the grass. So come back in a couple hours. We'll show you their first move. First move is always the hardest one because they're trying to figure things out and figure out what they are supposed to be doing out here on this grass. So come back and check them out and uh, check their first move. All right, as usual, most of the birds are at the back of the tractor, kind of scared of what's going on because it's all new. Um, I'm gonna start pulling the tractor, but I just wanted to show you if you guys have seen when we built this chicken tractor, I'll put the video down there. We've got this broiler bumper, we call it. Um, just a piece of uh, conduit that we put along the back. So as we start to pull this, this will bump them first before they get the possibility of getting hit by that back two by four. And since this is the first time, it's gonna be the hardest time. I'm gonna start moving them forward just a little bit. But uh, as they get used to it, they know that it is food time and they start to run towards the front as they start moving in the tractor. So kind of got them scared to the front. That will help us a little bit. Um, and then we'll start getting this moved here, but we'll just bump them slowly if they stay towards the back. Most moves are straight along the pasture, but we are towards the front and towards the house. So we're actually going to be turning up to about where Cal is on guard there. So I'm gonna put this down and we will start moving the chickens along. Okay, we just move them 20 feet at a time. There's the edge of the line right there, and they are kind of turned. So now we just need to put the feeders and waters back in there. The first one takes the longest time. They get used to it, and it does not take that long the next couple times. guys successful first day out on pasture for these Cornish cross really excited they will warm up to us and they know that when we come here comes the food so they don't always stay packed at the back there um, but just wanted to show you that first day out of the brooder and on grass everyone is doing good we should be getting that call early in the morning tomorrow morning that our other chickens have arrived so We'll come back tomorrow and check out the new batch of Cornish Cross, and I'm sure we'll come outside and make sure all these guys have done well through the night. Good morning, guys. We've got the chickens picked up. I just need to run by the feed store and grab some more feed for the chickens and then we'll get these unloaded. Okay, it's a little chilly this morning, and so we've got the moving blankets on top just to keep that heat in. I'm gonna open them up for a little bit here, but uh, we've got 69 birds in each pen, so a total of 138. So they are all alive, 
all active. Guys, we get our birds from Valley Farms Hatchery. If you're looking for Cornish Cross, check them out. You can use the codes KC12, KC Farms 12, and you can get $12 off your order. We've had good luck with Valley Farms and we use them a lot. So I'm not gonna leave this up too long because I want them to get warmed up. So we'll put that down and you can see them go underneath those lights. So here's the second batch. Open it up really quick, just so you guys can see. And uh, here's the other 69. Love to see them all running around and active. We do not put food in when we first bring them home. We let them get water for the first little bit. Um, we may put food in tonight or it will be first thing tomorrow morning, but uh, all the chicks are looking good. So we are excited about that. We've got chickens coming in the brooders, chickens going out of the brooders, chickens, chickens, chickens. So let's run outside here really quick and let's check out those chicks that just went outside just to see how they're doing. Okay, out here in the front pasture, you can see where these chicks started and have been moving. I say chicks, they're four weeks old, but they are doing great out here. Um, we have not lost any. Sometimes you worry if they'll huddle up, if it gets too cold. It kind of got cold last night for uh, this time of year, but here they are. They're all doing good and glad to be out in the sun and grass i am sure so you can see they're all laid up here in the grass except for the few that are eaten back there but they are all doing great and it is amazing to think that those little fur balls in just four weeks turn into this and in six weeks turn into this and in eight weeks turn into this so that is why we raise the cornish cross meat birds for our meat chickens, um, they get a bad rap. They're not the prettiest chickens. They don't fully feather out because they're using all that food and energy to turn into meat instead of pretty feathering. But uh, we love the Cornish Cross for meat production. There's, there's not a better, faster growing bird out there. There are some birds that do well, but they normally take an extra month and they don't get quite as big. Um, we're not looking for pretty, we're looking for pretty tasty. And that's what we have with our Cornish cross. So there is a couple days of chickens, 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 and more chickens. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We appreciate you guys following along. We hope your late spring, is it summer yet? Early summer is doing well. Um, we've got some possibly more pregnant pigs that are just about ready to have piglets. So we will be checking out those piglets in some upcoming videos. We appreciate you guys following along. Don't forget to make the change and we will see you on the next video.